your pressure gauge is doing this, it's because of the design of the system. Where you're connected is going to determine how it's going to behave. You see how, however, when the compressor kicks on, the pressure goes into the blue zone? That's the pressure we want to read. That's showing us we don't have enough um, freon in the system. We possibly have air in this system. We'll see what happens after this cam's done. But uh, for the most part, that's what that means. Okay, you can see now the compressor's staying on. And we're reading the pressure we actually want to read. The pressure you were seeing before was just from the system normalizing once the compressor kicks off. We are in the vacuum region of the system. We're behind the compressor. So it's going to do that. But now the compressor is staying on. I don't know if you can hear it or not. The gauge is normalizing. So when you're seeing that fluctuation, people, that means you're low on fluid. Now when the compressor is on and the gauge goes up into the red, that's an overcharge scenario. But um, when you're in the red with the compressor off, that's just the system being normalized. That's the actual pressure in the system when the compressor shut down throughout the entire system. The reason why we have a slight vacuum on one side is because we're on the intake side of the compressor behind the capillary. The capillary side is where the pressure is, the higher pressure. Okay, I gotta shut up. I gotta keep toggling this can. By the way, this is where the damn connection is on a Ford Focus. Ford is so fired. I'll never buy another Ford product. I'm thoroughly convinced that the Ford design team pretty much decided, screw all mechanics, who cares what they have to do to fix this crap. Okay, so there it is, the system's normalizing. I have run out of fluid. Now because it's above 85 degrees out, I actually want that needle to be higher. However, the fans have kicked on, and I wanted to let you guys know you have to toggle this switch and watch that gauge. All the way down is off, I think, but slightly up is on go up too far it turns back off I was sitting here for 10 minutes with this valve all the way up it's real close to being all the way closed it actually lets the fluid flow and you can feel the coldness on this section if that isn't getting cold you don't have any flow this canister is finally cooling down so I think we're getting somewhere the fans all kicked on the fan wasn't kicking on before which indicates the uh, condenser is working so there it is, problem solved, gauge fluctuation, just because you're connected into this little evapor evaporator canister. I'm not sure what that canister is called, I can't remember, but because you're connecting into that instead of the actual line downstream is why you're seeing the behavior on the gauge that you may not be accustomed to with other vehicles. This is a Ford, so you can expect a lot of stupid, dumb crap like this.